Uh, this is Paul. Yeah. You know, I had done some guesstimating in uh, 2011, 2012 for the, well, nine to ten years that Homeland Security had been going. Yeah. And uh, it was an approximation, but somewhere around a trillion dollars was spent. Now, I could be overestimating, but I'm kind of thinking that when you got a checkbook that has a trillion dollars, they'd say, well, 72 fusion centers cost quite a bit of money. Oh, do they really? Yeah. <laughs> and then you've got, uh, you got that whole TSA thing, don't you? Right. And then the Coast Guard, the Secret Service. Yeah. They had combined agencies when Homeland Security was started so that they actually have the the overall power of a number of what was independent agencies or departments before they were they were uh, started in 2011, 2003. Yes. Now, I just want to know all the cash that was spent in every location where there's any... Well, ice. <laughs> it's hot out here. You know, did you did you put up some antennas in Antarctica or the Arctic? Or does Homeland Security have actual Homeland Security military bases in other nations? Or did you just keep it in America? <laughs> now, it seemed like Homeland Security was holding a lot of drills with those in National Guards and Sheriffs and Police Departments and Fire Departments, the whole... FEMA operation, <laughs> and uh, they were sewing into everybody so as to take control of every badge and gun throughout the whole United States, but somehow I thought America's homeland security was going to make the world homeland security. <laughs> they were going to be the global security instead of Interpol or South American Pole or or uh, Europol or these different poles. In fact, I, I remember once I had I'd done some research about Homeland Security sewing themselves into every law enforcement agency of the world. Now, I'm going to need to know uh, every radio antenna and all TV and satellite broadcasting from the Arctic and Antarctica. <laughs> and all the money that Homeland Security spent on any base or employees outside of the United States or its territories and possessions <laughs> seemed like those in Homeland Security were absolutely sure they were going to be the global police force. <laughs> Now, I have emailed other nations about my constitutional rights being violated, and I just wanted to know every antenna and all the satellite broadcasting and every satellite of Homeland Security and the global positioning of all of those, and exactly how much did you pay for that satellite? Did you pay cash, or did you account for the expense? <laughs> now, when you really, really think about it, Seemed like a bunch of individuals that got super top secret security clearance had thought that they were going to be the global police department and then America's military, well, they fight wars over there. They don't actually protect or uh, defend the United States of America. No, they don't. Homeland Security was going to be the global security. <laughs> So I just wanted to know every person for the last, what year is it, 2017, 14 years that Homeland Security sold into of all the global police departments and all the global security departments in every nation of the world. And did they set up any sort of antennas of their own? Well, we're Homeland Security. We're going to have to put one of our own antennas in your nation. <laughs> we, we really want to thank you for cooperating. I just need the global communication system of Homeland Security when I thought that they were going to be focused on the United States. Global Homeland Security.